Good morning and welcome everybody to the penultimate day of the 2021 European Weightlifting Championships. Three titles at stake today. And the first of those, the men's 102 kilo championship of Europe. Here we are inside the Palace of Gymnastics, the Arena Vina Usmanova Championships with the sites of Moscow. Unfortunately, for the past week, not available to any of the competitors, officials, or indeed anyone participating in these championships due to the restrictions of COVID-19. Nonetheless, here we are on, as I said, the penultimate day, Mikhaila Breeze alongside myself, David Goldstrom. Thank you for getting up early. Those of you who are with us, we have a field of eight with uh, Belarus, Georgia, Bulgaria, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Russia, all represented. And there you can see the body weights, relevant only in the sense that they weighed in inside the required limit. Shakedze there, the heaviest of the eight. So this is uh, Shihai uh, Shalankov moving up to 102 kilos from 89 kilos in 2018. Irakli uh, Shikidze, fourth two years ago, a real achiever at weights between 79 and 105 kilos. David Fisher of, who used to be David Fisher, and as you see, lifted for Austria. Coming down to 102 kilos. Dadash, uh, Dadash Bayri representing Azerbaijan. Something of an unknown quantity because we haven't seen him for five or six years. Arsen uh, Martirosian of Armenia, six, two years ago. And Fedor Petrov, the European under 23 champion of 2018 at 105 kilos for the host nation. Vasil uh, Marinov for Bulgaria. Bulgaria still at the top of the medal table. And completing the lineup for Armenia, Samvel uh, Gasparian. Very progressive. A gold, two silvers, and two bronze medals between 2016 and 2019 in a range of weight categories from 94 up to 109 kilos. So that's the scene set. And just about ready to go here. Now, in terms of uh, standards, these were set in uh, 2018. But before I go into that, the B group, they started earlier today. Mikhaila, all yours with the man who ultimately really dominated the whole of the B group. Yes, Andre Alionak representing Belarus dominated the B group, didn't snatch overly well, only one out of three successful lifts. In picture now, we've got the 165. This was the weight he nominated for his opening lift. He went on to attempt 169 twice, failed both of them. Just a little soft under the bar, lacking that bit of spark. But something happened between snatch and clean and jerk and he came out all guns blazing. Clean and jerk went three from three, 190, 197, 201 kilos. And this is the 201. And this gave him a total of 366 kilos and the lead after the B group. These weights will be carried forwards into the A group. Pretty strong snatch will be Expected to have these weights surpassed fairly early on. But that is a great performance from Andre Alionak representing Belarus, the lead after the B group. There are the opening weights and according to the entry totals put in by these men, uh, that was in advance of the final entries uh, verification. There's only a spread of 10 kilos across the whole field. so. This may not be an Olympic category, but it might be a very competitive one, Mikhaila. Certainly will be. Not a huge spread in numbers. So looking forward to seeing how they get on here. Now, these are the standards. In other words, they're not records yet. These are the standards that were set in 2018 when all the weight categories were adjusted. 
to cancel out all the previous records because of the volume of uh, cheating that had gone on in the sport. And as yet, nobody's reached any of those. Although I, and I think, Mikaela, you have a uh, same sense as me, uh, uh, changing the records doesn't uh, in itself uh, cancel cheating. <laughs> <laughs> most ridiculous yeah. approach to counteracting doping I have ever seen. Get rid of the cheats, ban them for a substantial amount of time so they cannot have the opportunity to come back. Get rid of the officials that are involved from those nations. Then we start to clean things up. Is it ever going to be clean? No. But we can make, definitely make uh, better steps than just changing records. Well, we start with a very controversial character. David Fisher used to live for Austria. His sister, Sarah, is in the competition. You'll be seeing her later. He is now representing Bulgaria, got his nationality a year ago. His fiance is Bulgarian. A really acrimonious family split with uh, also the Austrian Federation. Still in the under-23 ranks. A junior European silver medalist for Austria back in 2018. Um, picks up uh, 160. So a very straightforward start for him. He's lifted at 109 kilos. He's lifted 168 kilos. At 105, he's lifted 162. Yeah, good start from David Fisherov. 160. And there we see the coach is looking sideways as if they're looking around the corner. <laughs> Now, Russia haven't exactly excelled at these championships in terms of achieving gold medals. I wonder what this young man may do. Under 23, 2018, 105 kilo champion. Snatched 170 kilos to lift that title. So 160, as you've just seen, well within his range. It looks comfortable, doesn't look overly snappy, and that's the problem we've seen with a lot of the Russians in these championships. Rounds the shoulders, not overly impressive technically. The shoulders are rounded as he hits full extension, leaves the bar out in front, but that was okay. He's going to need to be a bit sharper on his second and third attempts. And so to Georgia, Irakli uh, Shekidze. Georgia, who hosted the last European Championships in Batumi. And Irakli, as I mentioned uh, in the introductions, he's quite an achiever when you look at uh, his records. He's only 22. He's still in the under-23 ranks. Junior World and European Champion in 2018, and he retained his Junior World Champion ship title in 2019 and he's got gold so weight categories from 79 up to 105 kilos strong start for the junior world champion of 2019 at this weight category a very strong start and as you've alluded to the increase in weights in line with the increase so the increase in weights lifted in line with the increase in body weight categories that he's passed through as he's grown and developed through the youth and junior ranks. Very fast under the bar, bit of a whip of the head backwards. That's going to send the shoulders the wrong way. But strong start. It's interesting, isn't it, uh, Michaela? You start the day with the masks over the mouth and nose, and as the day goes on, they slip below the nose. Yeah, I, I do appreciate it's difficult. You know, the coaches are active as well. They're running around, yeah. loading the bar, getting to the, the, the table to change the nomination of weight. But the rules are the rules. Look, we're trying to protect other people, not just yourselves. And I think uh, I'd like to see more of the officials and coaches adhering to the rules a bit stricter. Arsen uh, Martirosian on the stage representing Armenia. Now, there are a lot of Martirosians. It's quite a common name in Armenia. And this young man 
he's had a crack at the 102 kilo uh, championship in 2019, finished sixth. But the year before, he was a bronze medalist in the European Juniors at 105 kilos. A few steps forward, but that'll get three white lights. He's got some credentials behind him, and those credentials are transferring onto the platform. He looks good, he moves well, and that's a solid start. Don't worry about the step forwards, that's more nerves than anything. Slightly out of position, but doesn't hamper him on his first attempt. He dropped the chest as he came off the floor. I'm sure he'll come back more positive on his second. Fisher off, uh, out again. Two out of two. A very impressive opening couple of lifts for Fisherov. He's really looking sharp today and he's coming in here, all guns blazing. Really explodes as the bar passes his knees. That's what generates the momentum to lift the bar up. It's a costly second attempt. Won't be happy, still not, hasn't surpassed the lifter from the B group. Just on his toes as he stands up. Yeah, well the truth is, Mikhailo, so many Russians have been eliminated from the sport that uh, this is another generation in several different uh, versions and they haven't really been a force here at these championships either in the men's or the women's division not at all russia as we all know have been under the spotlight the last few years you know the fear is that these lifters have been in the system already through the youth and junior ranks let's hope that you know if they have been abusing and part of that system then they go clean now. I mean, I think the results speak for themselves at these championships. They just haven't won anywhere near the medals that we would expect from Russia. They're normally top of the medal table and, and smashing everybody else. It's just not happening. And I think that's a great thing to see. I think it's great that the medals have been spread across nations. It just shows that things are more level than they ever have been. Yeah, it's quite a dramatic plunge when you consider they're down in 11th place in the medal table. And one gold, 10 silver and seven bronze. Lots of medals, but only one gold. Now, Petrov, who, as I said, has lifted 170. And if he wants to stay in touch, he really does need this. Well corrected. Clearly enjoying the experience in front of, I would say, a home crowd, but we know there is no crowd there, just a few teammates that are in the audience supporting. So that is a good recovery, 165, still not enough to go ahead of a lifter from the B group. But he's in the competition and he's got a, t he's got a good snatch in. First appearance this morning for Vasil Marinov of Bulgaria, 167 kilos to go directly in the lead correctly waiting for the loaders to finish their job before he goes on to the stage bulgaria 
started the championships extremely well and still in terms of gold medals leading the overall ranking on the medal table fourth in the european juniors a couple of seasons ago a couple of years ago i should say 161 was his best then that's the new best That's a pretty good opener. A little hesitant getting underneath the bar. It could be a bit sharper from hitting extension to dropping under. You can see the shake on his head as if to say, you know, I can make that better. He knows he's going to have to if he wants to go much further in this snatch. Shakidze. Five kilo increase for him. Very explosive first time around. Never in doubt. Never in doubt, but certainly challenging him a little. One attempt remaining, how much further will he go? I think we're probably looking around the 170 mark. He's done 169, so you might very well be spot on. He'll probably want to go for a personal best. This is the kind of platform to try and pull that off. If you can bring your A game to a championship, this is where it matters. It's irrelevant what you do in the gym. Shihai uh, Shalankov opening his campaign, the Belarusian on 168. So immediately looking for the lift. Now he's moved up big time from. 89 kilos in 2019 to today's 102 kilo challenge. Interesting start. Well, the kilos are there and the lift is there. Yeah, and that increase in body weight that you alluded to is, is totally normal. Still in the junior ranks, so, you know, he's, he's growing, he's filling out, he's developing quite quickly. So a big increase in body weight. You would expect to see a big increase in weights lifted on the platform. Nice technically, very confident, solid under the bar. Yeah, indeed. Just 18 and now Fisher off. Well, you were quietly impressed with his first two efforts, weren't you, Mikhaila? Now the bar going to 168 for the former Austrian. Now 168 at 109 kilos as a lifter. This was the sort of weight that he did lift so at this weight category again this would be a new pb three out of three very very good when I'm coaching lifters, beginners, or if I'm anybody, to be honest, I coach to come off the floor a little more controlled rather than going off like a headless chicken. And if you watch the speed and the tempo the bar comes off the floor, it's not quick. And that's because it's a heavy weight. When the bar passes his knees, he really explodes into the lift. Well, he's not the only... Austrian to leave and find another country. Of course, the most famous of them, Mikhaili, you'll remember him, Matthias Steiner, who went on to win Olympic gold in the super heavyweights for Germany in the days when body weight determined positions and he got the better of Yevgeny Shigashev of Russia. What was that? Beijing 2008. Now, Dadash, Dadash Bailey for Azerbaijan. Could be anything. Slight movement in his right arm. Was that elbow lock? The tape makes that more difficult to see. I think the referees have given it. Yeah, we haven't seen him for six years. He was disqualified in 2015. And he's indicating that he picked up he picked up junior European medals. It's the head-on shot we need. 
it did indicate he's got trouble there. Looks like he's got his tricep taped. Maybe a tweak on that elbow in training has hampered his preparation. 170 though, he goes into the gold medal position. And still Sambel uh, Gasparian of Armenia to start. But that might be just moments away because he posted 171 for his first attempt. That's a kilo up on what he originally posted, which was 170. So Gasparian, another progressive lifter, only 23, European silver medalist in this weight category two years ago in Batumi. Last to start, might be first to finish. Yeah, the weight you start on doesn't really matter. It's what you finish on that is important. Drops the chest as he comes off the floor. Feet are very, very wide in that receiving position, but he's a big guy. And that's the difference. These, these lifters get bigger. The hands are going to be wider on the bar. The feet may be wider in the receiving position as well. Well, the good news is everybody's very much alive in this competition. Arsen uh, Martirosian now, his second attempt, a six kilo increase to take him to 171, which would move him up from eighth to second and silver. The other thing about, of course, this weight class is, Mikhailo, that uh, most of the finals take place in the afternoon and evening, but this is very different starting this early in the morning for these guys. Yes, an 11 a.m. start. And to be fair, this is a pretty impressive opening few lifts to the competition. I know I'm tempting fate right now, but we've only had one failed lift. So, so far, so good. We've had some competitions that have been really, really good with hardly any failed lifts. We've had some competitions that have been an absolute nightmare. It's well, really the men's 67 kilo snatch was the best competition of the whole championship so far, but Irakli Shakidze now. So, looking for his third good lift, 162, 167, 171 for uh, Shakidze. New personal best, attempt. Well, you said that he pushed himself and he has. Yeah, I guess at the 170, he's gone 171. And that is a great sequence of lifts. Three out of three, new personal best. You cannot do any more than that. Then bring your A game and perform and pull it out when it matters. No mistakes. Really good underneath the bar. Only just gets the bar past his waist before dropping underneath. Fantastic lifting. Nobody's galloping away. Shakidze, by the way, up into third place because Arsen Martorotian got there ahead of him and ahead of them all, Samvel Gasparian, who got 171. He who gets the highest weight first has the highest ranking. The bar to 170 to the Bulgarian now. Vasil Marinov. No. And he may well follow himself. I'm not so sure, actually. There are one or two other guys who want 172. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think the others that have got 172 on the board are probably going to go up. Maybe Sharon, uh, Sh Sharon Kov of Belarus might take it, but there won't be a huge amount of recovery. So... Shihai Sarankov of uh, Belarus gives Marinov a little bit more time to recover. This is the improving talented 18 year old. Strong. Very, very, very impressive the way he moves with the bar. 
a youngster who has mastered the movements before loading. So important. And we've had some great lifting through these championships. We've also had some really rough technical lifting. But this is a perfect example of really explosive, good positions. Well, if you remember that 67 kilo snatch, uh, Michaela, we had 30 lifts and only three failures. So we're in similar territory now. May it continue that much longer? Because it's a very tight affair. Nobody's galloping away at the moment. There's Marinov. The one man, though, who is in the most disadvantageous position is the Russian, Fedor Petrov, 165, he's finished, and the others are now beginning to put distance between themselves and him. Marinov onto the stage now. Now, the bar's gone to 173, so not only has he had those extra moments, but he's pushed himself just a little bit more. So instead of this being five kilos, it's six kilos from the first attempt. Seventh place, he stays down sixth place sixth or seventh place he stays right down the, the back in order that would have taken him into the lead and he's kicking himself for the mistakes that he's made swings it overhead big swing backwards of the shoulders that puts the loop on the bar and it just doesn't slow down enough overhead did you get the feeling that was just a little bit rushed not so rushed technical if you throw the yeah. shoulders back the hips go forward and it, it swings the bar out so when you have that inconsistency in your lifting, it's going to translate onto the platform. Dadesh Bailey for Azerbaijan. 170 to 174 for this man. Way back, I've got a 176 for him at the 105 kilo class, but that is a lot of years ago. That's good. Holds it on bent arms. That's as good as his elbows get by the looks of it. No. Nope. They say no lift. No, good lift. Two to Centre one. Referee, Centre referee didn't like it. I didn't yeah. see any movement. The arms were slightly bent, but they, I didn't see the... Actually, let's have a closer look. Maybe. They stayed bent to me. I was looking at his left arm, and obviously uh, Selchuk... Uh, Bash Buga, the central referee, didn't like it, but two to one, it's in his favor, so he does go to the top of the table. Two out of two, 174, it leads the competition. Bar going to 175 now for Arsen Martirosian. So, very definitely another new personal best attempt. I've been very impressed throughout this championship with the number of athletes who despite all the difficulties of the past year, who haven't been on a competition stage for so long, and yet they're coming out and producing aggressive and successful attempts. It's not obvious that they're competition rusty. They are coming out in most cases and, and performing very, very well. Arsene Matarossian just slipping up on his third attempt, have to settle for 171. Four attempts left. Armenia alive, Belarus alive, Azerbaijan alive. And it's those three countries and the three men who are now certain of medals in the first pass. Dadashvili of Azerbaijan leading by two kilos by three over the Armenian, but this is Shehaya Shanankov of Belarus. 175 to lead by a kilo. No. Well, that's a pity. As you said, uh, Mikhaila, he's young, he's 18. 175, that's only a couple of kilos below the junior standard. 
Yeah, this really is a great lift. A lifter to watch in the future for sure. It was pretty much there, just slightly out in front. Couldn't quite lock out. What a shame. That would have put him in for lead, but he'll have to do now. At the moment, be content with silver. May get pushed down into bronze, but he has got a medal. So, Samvel uh, Gasparian of Armenia. Armenia, who are having a reasonable championships. 11 medals, two of them gold so far. And Gasparian, a five kilo increase, 176. So he's trying to put the pressure on the man from Azerbaijan. And he's done just that. Forcing the platform, isn't he? Came on there with one thing in mind, and that was to execute. Conserve as much energy as possible. He finds himself in the lead. One attempt remaining. The 109 kilo European under 23 champion in 2019 and he also got the silver medal at 102 kilos in the senior European championship earlier in that year so Azerbaijan now have to try to repost and the bar going to 177 kilos for Dadash Dadash Bai. Twenty-four years of age, so outside the under twenty-three ranks. This Just asking for quiet there, he wants to focus. Yeah, this would be a better than he's ever done before by a kilo, and of course it would put him back into gold. What a fight! <laughs> well, credit to him. That was a heck of a fight. The receiving position, the bar was pulling him backwards. Somehow had the stability in the shoulders to fight it. Let's take a look here. Whips the shoulders back a little. Look at that, right back, and somehow pulled it forwards. A couple of steps, nearly lost it on the recovery. Tremendous effort to go into the lead. Yeah, and uh, Gasparian might have thought that his previous two kilo increase was going to be sufficient, but now he's going to have to come out and prove that he can go even further with 178. Again, just asking those in the crowd to be quiet so he can totally zone in on what he has to do. Just to regain the lead. This to take the gold medal in the snatch and to get her an, an advantage, albeit only a kilo. Not to be, and it's the man from Azerbaijan who keeps the gold medal at 177. Gasparian of Armenia has to settle for the silver. Shadonkov of Belarus, the bronze. It wasn't far away, sat in super deep just on his toes, couldn't quite sit in a, in a solid position. What a shame. 32 lifts, only six failures. Good first half to this 110 kilo competition, the championship of uh, Europe. So the guys now all back in the warm up room to get ready for the clean and jerk. Here is the confirmation you can see there, only those six failed lifts a good start to the day. Again, good morning, everybody. Thank you for getting up nice and early and being with us. This is the second part of the 110 kilo championship of Europe. They're the proposed opening weights for the clean and jerk. A really good competitive first half, which sees the man from Azerbaijan, Dadash, uh, Dadash Bailey, in the lead by a kilo with 177 over Samvel Gasparian, who has 176 kilos. And then there's a bit of a gap down to Shihai Sharankov of Belarus, four kilos off the pace. And Arsen Martirosian, he's got six to find. Nonetheless, there's some really competitive 
weights that have been posted for the clean and jerk and this competition is far from over indeed the man in the silver medal position at the halfway stage the armenian posting a clean and jerk of 210 kilos for his opener which is head and shoulders above everybody else at this moment but we'll be waiting a while before we get to him it looks as if it's going to be the bulgarian in picture this is uh, vasil marinov at 200 kilos to get us underway not a particularly auspicious start to his competition but only 22 six in the senior europeans two years ago in this particular weight category a former european junior bronze medalist so is this going to be a more profitable discipline for him 200 201 those are the sort of weights he's lifted before but i would expect him to get this and go further Oh, no problems at all there, was that? First attempt looked pretty comfortable. 367, so by a kilo, he eclipses Andre Alionak of Belarus, who was the best of the B group early on. But in terms of the clean and jerk, 200, whereas Alionak got 201, so he actually, from the B group, still leads the clean and jerk early days, though. So, Marinov on his way. <laughs> Petrov, a lot to catch up. Bottom of the list. A kilo behind Marinov now. Body language says it all. Just a little bit tired, a little bit sluggish. Works hard to stand with a clean. The jerk is lacking that bit of spark. Seems to be that he's pushing very much with the arms, backing away from the bar, leaving it out in front. The back, went, back foot went a long way backwards. The front foot hardly moved. Yeah, he lifted uh, 208 kilos back in 2018 as uh, under-23 champion. Not sure he's going to get that far, but we'll see. Sharonkov now coming out. The bronze medalist in this snatch phase, 202 kilos. Steady, steady, steady. That's been a tough warm-up, David, if I can just explain to the viewers what's happened here. As you just said, bronze medalist after the snatch. He's gone straight back into the warm-up room. He's barely sat down. They've gone straight into warming up for the clean and jerk. And he's literally had to take a lift pretty much every minute to get himself ready for this. That is a fitness session he's just done warming up. Because he was one of the later lifters on the snatch, one of the earlier lifters on the clean and jerk, that is tough. Yeah, and originally he posted 195 as his opener, and he's come in and successfully lifted 202. He's got a running total of 374, so, so far, so good. Three out of almost, four for the 18-year-old. Almost certainly uh, has been pushed up to 202 to give him a bit more time to warm up. Dada Spiley. A gold medal already, but... What he's after is the overall goal. He might find that uh, quite challenging. We have exactly the same situation here. Look, he's still blowing. He's just, he's flown through his warm up. There just hasn't been enough time for these guys to warm up properly. This for four out of four. Well, 
but he responded very quickly there and that is a good lift and it takes him back to the top of the leader table by five kilos overall well that is tough david because these lifters are all coming in pretty much on the same weights it means that everybody needs to be ready as the competition starts remember he was the gold medalist on the snatch so he was last out that is one heck of a, a speedy warm-up he's had to do you can just tell a lifter should be coming onto the platform for their first lift fresh not out of breath well as we said right at the beginning of the competition it was always going to be tight right from the get-go and so it's proving to be the one man who of course is benefiting from this is the man who got the silver Samvel Gasparian because he's posted 210 and it's going to be quite a while before we get to him and so therefore he will be fresh when he comes out yeah he's got much more time to do a normal warm-up just shows fitness is important in weightlifting and it is important when training to make sure you don't have too much rest between sets so that you can cope with this kind of situation should it arise now looks as if the bar's going to 205 kilos for Irakli Shikidze, but Marty Rossian also looking at that weight. Here is the Georgian. Well, he was lifting his biggest weights back in 2018 in the 105 kilo category when he clean and jerked as much as 216 kilos. Not going to do that yeah, today. So goes into overall second place. He's now three kilos behind uh, Dada Spidey. Stands aggressively after the clean and the jerk is very good overhead. It's nice to see the youngsters coming through the ranks with really good technique behind them. So this clean and jerk starting in similar veins of the snatch with a lot of really good performances and now David Fisher off. Well, he validated, I'm sure in his eyes, the move from Austria to Bulgaria, although, as I said, it was a acrimonious move to leave the Austrian Federation and particularly his family behind, his sister Sarah, who you'll be seeing a little later in the championships. But 2.05 here for David uh, Fisher, as was Fisher of as is. Can he stand? How much further? I uh, needs to catch the clean, the timing a lot better. I think that was just a missed time, which made it hard to stand with. But he needs to land and stand straight out. We'll take a look here. Bit of a yank with the head, caught him on his toes. I don't think he's going to change that habit. He's just trying to lift it with the upper body. Jerk is much better. Same weight for Mr. Marty Rossian. Out of the medals in the first half. Only 171 kilos compared to the 177 of the leader. So he's very much in catch-up mode now, if he can. Elbows are soft. I think he'll be okay, though. Yeah, so he was six kilos down. He's now three kilos off the pace, and he's moved into bronze overall, bronze clean and jerk. Clean is very strong. Jerk 
little wobbly overhead. Manages to steady himself. That's okay. So seven of the eight, Mikhailo, have got their first attempts in. The other man waiting till the bar gets to 210. But now things will get a bit more interesting. Petrov, who's done 208, but can he do 206? It's a knock-on effect from that first attempt I mentioned on the jerk that he shot his back leg backwards, front foot didn't move very much, exactly the same problem here and he's leaving the bar out in front. Those kind of errors are going to be exposed when you get to top weights. You've got to have your body underneath the bar. Two oh six for Sharonkov. Four kilo increase. Would take him to three seventy eight. Would take him into silver medal overall. And of course leads or would lead in the clean and jerk. Similar fault to the Russian who preceded him. Totally. If you see the replay, you'll see there was a drop of the chest. Drop of the chest, all hips went back. I need to see from the side, really. But either way, back foot went back and he punched the bar forwards. As I say again, you've got to have your body underneath. You see the hips are behind the bar and it's not good enough. So, minimal respite for Petrov. Now again, the five kilo increase. This will give him 371 as a total. This is a big ask. Absolutely correct. Well, we saw the signs with the first attempt and the result is actually that he ends up on 366. But the man from the B group got to that total first, so he's been beaten by Alionak of Belarus from the B group earlier in the morning. Just no drive. Doesn't execute a powerful leg drive. He dips and only drives back to where he started. There's no upward momentum gained on the bar. Still breathing heavily from the previous attempt. Not long to recover. He's gutted, but as you said, he's only 18, and although it's only a 50% average, it's a new weight category, he's young, and I think there's a lot more to come, given time. Yeah, there is, but you, you can't execute a jerk like that with a straight back leg. Look how far it pulls his hips behind the bar. Although he's young, there's still a couple of fundamentals he needs to address there. So the gold medalist from the first half of the competition, he got 202, he's got 207 on the bar. Now he's sort of trying to consolidate, get the kilos in because his coaches will be well aware that Gasparian 
He finished just a kilo behind him, has posted 210 for his opener. And that could be very expensive. I just reflecting on one thing, Mikhaila. Um, Maxim Agapitov, the recently elected first vice president of the European Federation, who is also the president of the Russian Weightlifting Federation, he's got to be concerned, hasn't he, about these championships on a home Moscow stage and yeah, the performance of the Russian lifters. Yeah, and interesting that he's managed to achieve that position as well, David. Well, he's been very, very vocal about, you know, cleaning up the sport and he'll do this and he'll do that. And I understand that and that all sounds great. But the performance of his team has been poor. Yeah, but it's poor for a reason, David. It, it, it's potentially, and I hope I'm right in saying this, it's potentially poor because they're not taking the drugs. It's as simple as that. I mean, yeah. a lot of countries you know, have to work really, really hard, and they've been getting there illegally. They've been cheating to, to win the medals in the past. So it's t I think this is a great result for Russia. It shows that they're doing something different to what they have been. Dizzy. He's okay. Yeah, he'll be all right. Yeah. No, just reflecting on that point, what I really meant was, no, I, I accept exactly what you said, but there's a huge challenge because he's got to bring on a completely new generation of athletes. And expect Russia to drop off the scene on a European level for a good few years until they re-establish some kind of normality and, 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 and work with lifters who they now need to develop in a clean way. Is it going to be clean? Well, I think results will speak for themselves. You know, you, it's not rocket science to see which countries still have reputations. Yeah, but you know you know how long it takes to bring on a lifter to be competitive at this level i mean you totally. what are you talking anything between five to eight years totally so to see a, a youth or a junior lifter winning a european seniors it is either pretty special or pretty dodgy whichever way you want to take it uh, if, you know most lifters will achieve their most clean lifters will achieve their peak around mid 20s late 20s i'm not saying you can't do that earlier you do get some freaks who are extremely strong and have, uh, you know, have, have made the most of the, the maturation years and pushed their body when it's developing. But there's also a lot of lifters there who are very, very young and lifting ridiculous weights that's just not natural to get to at such a young age. So Marinov, well, he tried 208, which was an um, eight kilo increase and he's got to go for it again. And this is to take him to 375. It isn't going to push him into overall medals, but of course, 208 would put him into first place in the clean and jerk. That's what's in the mind of the coaches, but. Oh, <laughs> does well. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> That's a, cheek, a cheeky <laughs> sneak back underneath the bar. He was out in front, hips were behind the bar, and a couple of steps to get himself back into position. He'll take that. It's not ideal, but when you get to these kind of weights, it will do the job quite nicely. Let's take a look. Hips behind the bar. Sneaky footwork to get back underneath. <laughs> cheeky smile, but... Will he stay in the medals? That's the big question now. Gaspar, uh, Gasparian of Armenia, silver medal, a kilo behind the leader at the halfway stage. He's come down from 210 to 209 for this opening attempt. Well, that was very straightforward, and he knows it. And that little sideways look, bit of attitude. Yeah, big drive up, caught it very, very high. Normally when the weights get heavy, the lifter will split wider, drop a little bit lower, but he seemed to literally drive it to arm's length. Very, very uh, high position. So, Gasparian of Armenia now 385 ahead. This is Marty Rossian. Yeah. 
No, I don't think so. His left arm, that to me, flexed partway through his recovery. Has he got it? I think he might have done. Oof. How did he get that? Did you see it as well? Yeah, I did, but... I know uh, I'll, well... Well, we need the front view on the jerk. Yeah, Let's see if we get that. It's his right arm, our his left arm, our right, as we look at it on screen. No good with this can't, view. Yeah, we can't tell from there. Here no. we go. There's movement in that elbow. Difficult, but he's got the three whites. He's uh, got up into second place overall. Second place in the clean and jerk. And now, Shakidze for uh, Georgia. 205 to 210, five kilo increase. 381 he's aiming for to put himself up into overall uh, silver and clean and jerk gold. So we're now really getting competitive now. Incidentally, uh, David Fisheroff of Bulgaria, he's posted 210 for his second attempt. That's ambitious. But he was much more convincing in the snatch phase than he is in the clean and jerk. Yeah, let me point out something else here, if I may, in terms of how these lifters are preparing. As we alluded to at the start of the competition, one or two of them have had to rush very quickly through their warm-up and they came to platform for their first attempt still out of breath. Now we've got the opposite. Because the competition is so close and everybody is on the same weights, it's, it, it now means there's a lot of time between each lift. So some of these lifters are now having seven, eight, nine minute rest. So how they deal with that is, is very much an individual thing. Some of the lifters would have gone back into warm-up and popped another lift or maybe two just to keep the legs ticking over. Seven attempts to come. David uh, Fisher off. Well, 2.10. I can't find anything on a competition stage to suggest he's ever done this in competition. So this is a significant personal best attempt. It's only his second attempt as well. Is there clean? That is a very good second attempt. Yes, it and is. Whatever, whatever he's done in that warm-up room between lifts has been perfect. That's put him into first place in the clean and jerk and fourth overall. And he's edged up with one attempt to come to the others who are in the overall medal positions. Well, if he can go further, I'll be interested to see what he aims for after this. Dadash Bailey. Well, I think everybody knows for all sorts of reasons there's not too much love lost between Armenia and Azerbaijan in every walk of life. So this is very much needle between Azerbaijan and Armenia. Armenia leading at the moment. Azerbaijan trying to counter. He was looking for eight big kilos and it hasn't happened. Well, that's Third hugely attempt. costly, isn't it? Well, it's left him in overall bronze, the man who won the gold in the snatch, and it's the Armenian who leads. I fear he may find himself off the podium in the overall standings. Still quality lifters yet to come. Well, Fisheroff is only a kilo behind, so he, if he took 212, he could squeeze himself for Bulgaria into a bronze medal. And that he would surely see as vindication for moving from Austria to Bulgaria. But Shakadze is out there for Georgia, but he's just failed in his 210 in recent times. We haven't seen him been doing that. And as I mentioned, uh, if you wind the clock back, uh, Shakadze, 
Well, he's produced uh, 216 kilos, but that was three years ago in the European Juniors at 105 kilos. He's not that lifter today. Better. So he misses out on all the medals and it's Armenia one and two at the moment in the rankings. Oh, Gasparian ahead of Marty Rossian. Did you see that? Did you see that overhead? He was looking at his wrist. Wrists should normally take a pounding in the lifting. But when he landed it overhead, he, his wrist, both wrists cocked and uh, pulled him forwards. And it's not a nice position to be in. That bar comes back down to ground very, very quickly. That was unlucky. Look how much more red there is there in the clean and jerk than there was on the snatch. And now uh, Marty Rossian. So Armenia versus Armenia, so to speak, at the moment. Three kilo increase. 209 to 212. Now, what this would do is to put him in the lead in the clean and jerk, he'd get closer to Gasparian, but this is the last throw of the die. So what he's trying to do here is to get into clean and jerk gold and also protect his overall silver medal. In a million years, can you do that? Oh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> <It was laughs> drawing a clock face on the on the platform. That's going to put the shoulders, the elbows under a lot of strain. It was a good fight, just not to be today. Let's have a closer look at this. Don't try and replicate this, but this was one heck of a fight to try and recover. I mean, doing so, there's movement in the elbows. That's what the referees saw. They gave him the down signal before he'd finished recovering. That is an ugly recovery. <laughs> well, he was trying an 11 kilo personal best. So uh, Gasparian of Armenia looks pretty solid, but it's all down to Fisher off now. 213 kilos. That's a three kilo increase, which would take him from 378 to 381. Now, if he'd taken a two kilo increase, he could have uh, got into overall bronze as well as getting into clean and jerk gold. But he's decided that he wants to get clean and jerk gold and the overall silver. So a bit greedy, but is it a bit too greedy? We're about to find out. Massive personal best. Just about. His jerk was good on the last lift. No. The accumulation of effort. A gutsy performance nonetheless. You cannot fault the effort. Notice on the clean, he lands with his feet wide, adjusts them in, keeps the bar moving, which is why he was able to stand. It just took too much out of him. Didn't have the legs left. That's a real shame. Well, he's still in the gold medal position in the clean and jerk. Do you think if he'd taken a kilo less, it would have made any difference? No. I sort of doubt it, so. to be honest. I think a kilo at that kind of weight is, is not worth considering, yeah. to be honest. So here is the new champion of the 102 kilo category, Sambel Gasparian representing Armenia. Two attempts left, five kilo increase, looking for 390. He's there with some style, isn't he? Well, a gold medalist confirmed across the board. He is the champion. He still has one attempt remaining. Will he bother taking it? Well, it's interesting, he won the European under-23s in 2019. 
at 109 kilos with a total of 390. Good for you. Yeah, really good position under the bar. Bar directly over shoulders, directly over hips, nicely on balance. You can see just how much it means to him. Tremendous lifting from Gasparian on world. Armenia. He was fifth in the World Championships in 219 when he totaled up 390. He's got one more attempt to go just that little bit further. The competition in 2019 was won by Dmitry, uh, sorry, Dmitro uh, Shumak of the Ukraine, who has moved up this year to the 109 kilo class. He totaled 391. Gasparian was the silver medalist behind uh, Schumacher uh, two years ago, but now he's got the gold. He's done so. He's not taking Armenia, third. gold and silver in the championship. Not taking the lift. He's refinishing. He's called it a day on 390. Pity for us. So, four out of five for the new champion. This is the clean and jerk result for you. Fisher off getting ultimately the silver medal. Well earned with that 210 personal best and Marty Rossian the bronze. Interesting little competition there between Marinov and Fisherov of Bulgaria. It was a good third attempt by Marinov, but Fisherov got the better. So when you've got two Armenia. lifters from the same country, David, they'll push each other. Nip and tuck, and it can only be positive. <laughs> so more medal success for uh, Armenia. Just having a look at what have they, what have they collected here? Two gold medals. That'll take them up to four. And. Uh, a bronze and a silver as well. <laughs> so, medal ceremony to come. Now, uh, we just need to remind you of what we have today. We have the 109 kilo category for men and the 87 kilo category for women for those of you with us across the united kingdom five o'clock for highlights of the men's 109 and then live coverage of the women's 87 kilo competition And whilst we're thinking ahead, uh, of course, tomorrow it's Super Sunday, which means it's the women's super heavyweights and the men's uh, super heavyweights. And that means in terms of star quality in the men's competition, Lasha Talakadze, the Olympic and multi-world and multi-European champion. And for Great Britain, Emily Campbell, looking to command the women's over 87 kilo category to round off the best ever British European Championships.